Hey everyone, it's Jackie. Um, it's morning before I go to work this morning. We had a couple of rainy days here in Southern Vermont, which we need. Hope you are all well and happy. Um, and, you know, getting your vaccines and all that. So I'm putting together this prayer journal, which I showed you a little bit ago. I have now got, I have this satin, like blanket satin. So I've got that, I glued that on the outside. And I will be doing a stitch through. It's gonna be tricky to stitch through this because I got a lot of stuff going on to reinforce that. But I'm gonna put, um, when I put in my signatures, I'm gonna put them in, but then I'm gonna put something here, a piece of lace, I'm not sure. I might use this beautiful um, vintage lace, which is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so I thought I'd show you, I'm using pages from My Porch Prints. So it's a daily devotional, it's a prayer journal is what it is that I'm making, um, but it has these pages, which I liked. And then on the backs, I'll just show you what I, I've just done these on copy paper and I've double sided the beautiful, um, they're, they're just beautiful. So that's another one um, that I double sided um, actually with the daily devotional. So there'll be two together like this, you know, which is nice. And then there's this one. Those are the same. This one is the same as the other one. But there are several different. There's a different one, kind of the same, but this has the lines. So there's a lot of different ones. There's several background pages. And then there's a bunch of ephemera. Let me show you. I was just printing some of it. So there's some ephemera that are pockets. Let me show you those. Again, these are from my porch prints. So here's pockets, and then there's a beautiful envelope. Isn't that gorgeous? And here are some tabs. Hope you can, I'm gonna lift you up a little bit, make sure you can see those. And here's another beautiful envelope. These are gorgeous. I'm gonna make some extra of these just to have on hand. And here's another kind of a, whoops triple pocket kind of thing. See where you have the three pieces, isn't that beautiful? And then here are some trims that you could use. You could do it, you know, over page, fold this trim over the edge, that's what she's talking about. You could use it as a belly band, you could cut it in half and use it. So lots of different ways to use these, which is fun. I've gotta get those cut out. And then here is, I worked on cutting all these things out last night. And so here, this turns into a little booklet like this. I'm gonna do my corners because I'm not really great at doing corners. I guess those are not too bad, actually. And there's this one, love this one. And I'll ink around these and I might even sew around them. I'm gonna just quickly see if I can even these up a little bit. Yep. And these will be cute to have um, just a couple little pages in. Probably be helpful if I didn't do it on top of there, wouldn't it? Yep, and then there's all these little note cards that could be pockets, that can be, you know, whatever, little tags, so pretty. Lots of pretty ones. Oh, just lovely. Look at that butterfly. Don't worry about tomorrow. That's me. I need to chill my hormones on that. I love that. Now, I did make a mistake on one of them, like this one. These, I was trying to um, print them, so I had print on the other side, and I ended up putting them in my printer the wrong way. So you can see with these that I got... Um, the background page on top of the regular page, but isn't that pretty? I, I kind of liked how those came out. See, this is the background page, and it came out on there. Love that. And there's a bunch of tags, a bunch of journaling cards. These, when I printed, and instead of cutting them, I just ripped them out, because I like that look. 
there's, I mean, look, there's a ton. This is all the ephemera. It's one, I mean, they're not doubles of anything. It's tons of it in here, so that's nice. All right, so I'm going to add a few pages to my journals. I got, I did put together signatures, and I'll show you what I put together, but then I decided I wanted more of the regular pages. So this, I'm not, I'll just show you one, I think. They're both the same as in like the pages that I used. So, so this is blueberry dyed paper. Um, and as I've told you before in some of my videos, I wish it all came out like that. And that's just a piece of um, the blueberry, but it does come out this funky color. So I'll just quickly go through. I did get a new uh, Memory Keepers corner. I thought I was getting a rounder and I, and I got the wrong one. It's the, this one makes these kind of page rounds and I'm not quite with it yet to make it. So anyway, that's what I got. Anyway, let's just look through here. So I've got that. Um, this is one that actually this is upside down, but that's still very pretty. Just some plain paper. She, my friend is a teacher. I taught kindergarten with her for many, many years. She actually is my best friend's sister, so I've known her forever. So I put in some school days paper and another one of those. I put in, these are um, pages from the hymnal that I took apart. Some coffee dyed paper. This is Kool-Aid dyed. This is a vintage piece of tracing paper. This is just coffee stain from an old book I have. And I'm gonna actually pop in here some of these as I go because I want more of these in here. So let's put one of those in there and I'm gonna put one in this one at the same time just so I know. Where's my Kool-Aid dyed right here? Oh, it's a very light Kool-Aid dyed. Just so I know that I've put them in. That one's in there. I often do my signatures this way. Um, so there we go. And then that. And another music paper. And I'm going to pop another one of these right in here in front of this is also Kool-Aid Kool -Aid dyed. I try to talk too fast, I guess. Kool-Aid dyed paper. So I'm going to pop another one of those in there. Let's find that one here. Oh, that one already has one there. Whoa, is not that silliness? Huh. Well, we got to put one somewhere. But I'll add another one. We'll put one there. I mean, I don't always have them exactly the same, but I like to know that I've got, first of all, that I have the same amount of pages, and then that I have the same types in each one. So there's that one and that, and then more coffee dyed, a ledger page. So I think here in the middle I'll put one more, the last one of these. I don't know, these might end up being like um, 20 pages, I'm not sure. And I have just a couple little um, scripture um, devotional pages that I took out of a couple devotionals that I have. Wow. And that made that chunky, didn't it? It's very chunky. I always get carried away because I want my customers to be satisfied and love what they have, so I get carried away. We'll see what this looks like. I might have to take uh, something out. I'm not sure. See, they're very chunky. Ooh. Let's stick them in the book and see how it looks. Okay, well, that's still, that's still pretty good. You know, it's still got um, some give to it because I have all this ephemera that I'm going to put in here also, you know. Yep. Oh, so that's looking good. And I have a couple more over here, but I'll save those. I'm going to make one for myself also. So what I thought we'd do, let's put some, these little books together. Grab my bone folder and just down. I was watching a little bit of Miss Gail this morning. She was at a retreat. I really want to do a retreat. I wish there were people near me that would like to do a retreat because I think that would be fun. Just a couple days even. 
but of course, Gail packed everything in the kitchen sink, and I don't know if I can pack all that stuff, but... All right, so we wanna put some papers in here. Um, and I think I'm gonna put some, ooh, do these fit? Almost. Okay, so we'll, I'm gonna put some, these are pages from the hymnal. So I'm just gonna take a couple of these and fold them over. Those will be fun to have in there. A couple in each one, I'm not really paying attention. This is a hymnal, it's pretty old. I can't remember what the date was on it. So we'll fold a couple of those in half. And then what I might do, you know what I think I would like? I think I wanna make these like a torn edge to hang out of those. Cause that looks nice and vintage kind of. So let's just, I'm not even gonna really measure. I'm just gonna kind of see where this fits in here. So probably about here. And I'm gonna put these scraps in my pot. I have going to make paper. Okay, so those right in there like that. Oh, and they're hanging out good. And then we're gonna just do a little bit off the top of the, a little off the top of the top. <laughs> and I keep track of the time because I do have to go to work, but I got a few minutes more, yes, to craft. I like crafting in the morning before I go to work because when I get home, I'm kind of tired, you know? I'm working nine hour days and it seems like a lot, but it's so busy and I and I like it. So there, I could have left those a little longer to hang out, but that's okay. So we'll take those and we'll put a couple over here in this one. Let's see, there, there's a couple to go in there, a couple to go in here. And then what else? Well, we gotta put in some paper, like some, Let's do a little um, vintage dictionary page. And we'll just kind of go by this. So let's leave that a little bit bigger this time. Where's my tear ruler? I'll leave it a little bit um, taller so that you can see it on the top. And then let's just take off almost in half, not quite in half. Take off a little more of this piece here. Yep, okay. And then let's just see how wide. Oh, let's just flip this in half. Oh, this big old dictionary, I think I've shown it to you before. It's like five inches, six inches deep. It's crazy, it's crazy. Okay, so probably like about here, maybe. Oh, I might not be able to do all that. Um, no, I really want the jagged edge, so just. I tell you, I love my tear ruler. This is kind of, you know, they come in a pack of like four, I think, and I really only use this one, so it's kind of maybe a little wasteful, but I do like this edge on this one. And that's kind of the only one I use, but okay. There, now we got a couple of dictionary pages that we can pop in here also. Those are gonna hang out a little bit more, but I like that. Okay, whoops, maybe right side up would probably be the best way to go, or not, doesn't really matter. Doesn't bother me either way. So I don't know if you can, can you see this part? I'm just kind of, making sure I have those in there. Now what else shall we get out? Some plain paper so she'll have something to write on, possibly would be a good idea. Let me just look and see if I have any scrappies that would be nice. All right, let's do a couple pages of Miss Emily's paper from Vintage Polka Dot Shop. And I'm just gonna fold it like this because then I'll get a bigger piece um, off the bottom that I can use for something rather than waste, kind of waste it, you know. Right here. Then I'll have this bigger piece over here that I can use. And we'll just rip 
that on. There we go. And let's see. That's probably two. How's that for width? Yeah, I gotta take a little bit of that off. So actually, before I should have done this before I did that, didn't I? And I don't care if it's the right one, if it hangs out a little, or if it's a little shorter than the others. That doesn't bother me. It's fine. Okay, very good. And then I'm just gonna cut off the tip and I think I'll cut it with this scissor. I'm gonna cut off the fold part, just cut it like this. Easier than cutting it or getting out my cutter. Let's do that. Learn this trick from who does this? Rachel, maybe? Sure. There. So then we have a couple little pieces of plain old paper to throw in there. Okay, that was a good trick. Did you see that one had sort of stayed together a little bit? It might be interesting to try to make a booklet and use the pinking shears and have those stay together. All right, let's see what we got here. So we've got a dictionary and a plane and music and a plane. I don't care, I'm just going whichever way. And a dictionary and the music. And let's see. Yeah, I might have to take some more of that off. That is a little big. Sorry, my watch is banging around there. Okay, good. And we're just gonna put a little uh, staple in this. Let's see what will fit when we... No, I don't think my Tim Holtz... No, that's not gonna work. Let me get my big staple from back here. Get my long arm staple out. That will work better for this. I'm just gonna staple them. To make it quick and easy. Just like that. Okay. And then I've got my little book ready to pop in there. Let's put this one together. Uh, music, dictionary. Put that in there. Oop, come on. The music there, I guess, because that's what wants to be there. Let's move this one over here. Put this one in here. Put this in here. There we go. And then let's just open this up and get that down in there. Very good. Now, that's the front. Did I put them in right side up or upside down? Not that it really matters. It's fine. There we go. Okay, here we go. In. Pop a little staple. Pop a little staple. And there's another one done. Woohoo! Got those done super quick, didn't we? All right, what time is it going to be? Yes, I'm going to have to go pretty soon because I still have to make my lunch. Okay. Let's see. So that's good. Let's, um, yeah. I guess we'll we'll stop there for now. That's a quick quick little one, and we'll come back and do some more. Uh, making a list of other things that I want to do. Um, I was talking about Gail. Yeah, she just got back from her uh, retreat. She made eight tea and journals. She was showing. If you have a chance, go look at them. They're beautiful. And um, I just I know she does a whole series of making, showing you how she does her multiple. TNs at the same time, and it's worth the watch because they're quick, they're easy. I did it one time, and you know, you you whip out, you know, nine TNs in a quick fashion. So that's fun. All right, guys. So here's all the stuff. Oh, Mr. Cooper's coming by. Say hi, Coopy. Say hello, hello. Um, and so I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys.